this moment in time, the, the main target market is uh, is just Filipinos in the region. But that's there's nothing to stop um, you know a non-Filipino to to hear about a, a Dali app uh, movie. Yeah, it's a very good question. Um, so obviously our role um, is to ensure that we're compliant with the regulatory authorities um, in the region. And uh, as you know, there are some restrictions when it comes down to public viewing. So when you would watch a movie in the cinema, it would certainly be edited um, for certain scenes. Um, that's done by the National Media Council, as an example here in the UAE. Um, but when it comes down to uh, streaming platforms, um, the guidance that we have at this moment in time, there actually is no restriction because it is private viewing. Um, so I guess it's quite similar to the concept of drinking. So you could um, you can't exactly drink in the streets, but um, you can um, drink in the privacy of your own home. So streaming platforms, as per the current situation, the guidelines is that um, there doesn't necessarily have to be um, any taming or editing of scenes um, at this moment in time. Um, so, for example, if you would watch, um, uh, you know, Game of Thrones, which is a, a very well-known um, TV show, um, you can actually see uh, scenes that, in theory, you would expect to be to be edited. So um, that's that's the the direction that we have at this moment in time. If that changes, obviously, we'll have to we'll have to adapt uh, to that. I'll ask the I'll answer the your question first about the whether it's the same in the Philippines or not. So obviously, um, it's it will be largely very similar. Um, however, um, prior to Viva Max in the Philippines, obviously Viva did distribute their movies via various different uh, distribution channels. So there are some uh, legacy contracts in place that will have to wait for those uh, those contracts to expire. So some titles would have been sold to Netflix, etc. Um, but as those as those contracts expire over time, um, they would largely um, be similar to what we have in the Middle East. Um, but when it comes down to the Viva Max originals, which are content that um, production that's happening as of now, um, they will largely be very similar to to what we have uh, in the Philippines as well as um, in in the UAE. When it comes down to uh, streaming platforms, yeah, there are two sort of models. One is uh, is uh, something for everyone, which would be something like Netflix, where you know you've got a bit of Indian content on there, a bit of uh, Filipino, you know, Pino Filipino content on there, a bit of Arabic content, and a bit of English. So it offers something for for everyone for all types of viewers. Whereas um, Viva Max, certainly in the Middle East, um, is a is a different model, which is. Uh, not uh, something for everyone, but rather everything for someone. So it's more targeted towards uh, people who uh, primarily want to watch uh, Filipino and Pinoy content. Um, so at this moment in time, the, the main target market is uh, is just Filipinos in the region. But that's there's nothing to stop um, you know a non-Filipino to to hear about a, a Dali app uh, movie um, or, or a, a Kimolina or a Kylie. Um, production that they would want to watch. There's nothing to stop them, but primarily um, we, we see the Pinoys in, in the, the Filipinos and in, in the GCC region. There's over 2 million. When you combine all the countries together, we see primarily that as our, as our target market for now.